welcome to the Lynn Lineup, a program where we focus on organizations and the events that they're hosting right here and around the city of Lynn. Here with me today from CFACE of the Lynn Public School System, we have Jacqueline Gallo, the uh, new Lynn Public Schools Assistant Director of Curriculum and Instruction for Early Childhood. Uh, and then we also have Francie Sudak, lead program teacher over at the Lynn Public Schools. Guys, thanks for being here today. Um, we're here today to talk about your event, Early Childhood Literacy Night, set to happen March 29, 2017, 5.30 start to 7.30 p.m. This will be at the Lynn uh, Tech Annex at 90 Commercial Street. Um, we're welcoming all parents of uh, early child. Well, we're going to talk to these guys about it to come on down and, and why you'd want to be there. So uh, before we get too much into the event, outside of when it is, where it is, let's give you guys an opportunity to explain who you are and how you're involved. Francie? Oh, thank you, Sean, for having us. Uh, Francie Sudak with the Lynn Public Schools. Um, 45 years of early childhood, first grade, and now for the last 19 years, coordinated family and community engagement, which in Braces children prenatally, from prenatal, which would be into birth, up to eight-year-olds. Offering free play groups, story hours, home visits, and um, the main focus being on since the day of inception was um, literacy. Cuddle up and read and to prepare these children for the classroom door. All right. So Jackie, you're a newer addition over there at Seaface and you're coming on board while these guys are throwing their 19th annual literacy night. Mm -hmm. So they're throwing a lot at you. How are you enjoying it so far? Um, so far, it's it's very it's a lot of fun. Um, it's very exciting. The subcommittee um, really has done so much work, and I I mean, there's no way I could have done any of this without them. So it's exciting. You know, this will be my first fair, um, and I'm I'm really I'm really looking forward to it. All right. So we're here today to talk about the Early Childhood Literacy Night. This is the 19th annual event that these guys have thrown. Uh, it's set to happen March 29th over at the Lintex Annex, uh, 90 Commercial Street, uh, 5.30 start to 7.30 p.m. And, and Francie, you could tell us a little bit more about it. But there are going to be all types of resources there for parents of children up to eight years old um, in regard to how to get education in Lynn, services in Lynn. I'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. Well, we welcome every Lynn resident, of course. Um, we do it in the evening, basically, because 5.30 to 7.30, it's a wonderful opportunity for those working parents who are working during the day and the children are in school or in daycares that they can come out and they can have access to finding out other um, programs that may be um, something on their agenda to try to find out for their children as far as um, daycare providers, after school programs, before school programs. Um, let's face it today, working parents don't, you know, they need that. So it's also a great opportunity for all of these providers around the city to um, embrace the families, the children. Each table will have an activity, obviously, for the parents, for the children. Um, to um, engage in and we also were very fortunate this year again we will have um, by popular demand the Jubilee Puppet Show by Ron Camo. he always offers a great night for the children uh, we'll be offering also a story walk um, this year's featured book will be Jump Frog and again this is a great um, interaction for parents and children um, at the end of the um, at the end of the program, any parent who you know comes through, uh, we are going to be giving them free books. And each table will have a lot of takeaways, ideas, activities, books, uh, anything that they may need for informational purposes. What we do embrace is the fact that we do want to give these parents this opportunity. A lot of the schools currently, they do literacy nights, math nights, social studies nights, but there's nothing ever been done for birth up to getting them ready for the classroom door. So as far as that goes, this is like a great night for parents to do that. We have um, canvassed the city with the flyers. Every school was sent out flyers this week. Over 5,250 flyers have gone home with all of our pre-K up to grade three children. And then we have hit the doctor's offices, we have gone to WIC, we've gone to any place that may have young children so that the parents can be informed about so it. So I'm gonna interrupt you real quick, okay? Sure. So there's a lot going on here, We're talking about the preparation that goes into this. You get it down to kind of a system now, Francie. So I wanna kind of switch this over to uh, Jackie. You, you were a first grade teacher for 12 years, 
I think that's what you said mm -hmm. at the beginning of the program. So from a teacher's perspective, okay, like why is an event like this important? You've, you've been on the front lines, right? First graders, they're younger than eight years old, mm -hmm. right? So this is the demographic we're talking about. Um, how do you think this helps students? Um, that's a great question. Um, I think, you know, having students ready to learn is you know, one of our big goals. And for us, um, really infusing literacy throughout the city um, for young children is really, really important. Um, having them just being exposed to um, learning activities and literacy activities and having the parents engaged with them. Um, hopefully that night, um, the night of the fair, parents will be able to participate in the activities with them. Um, and you know that way parents are learning how to play these games at home with them at a young age so they're getting ready for school sure yeah i mean that social um that, that, that social aspect of what you guys really do is so important because i remember going into first grade and this was before cface was around and part of the Lynn public schools and um you know i remember like asking questions like, are all the kids going to be the same age as me? What kind of games do they play? Do they like the game Go Fish? Do they like this game? I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. and soon after I was like, well, there aren't very many games going on. You're going to be learning. You know, <laughs> that was a whole different world. Um, but to have something like that when I was a kid probably would have been a huge benefit. It answers a lot of questions for parents, parents who aren't familiar with the public school system. So what you guys do is a huge service to the student body here, but also to the future citizens of the community here in Lynn because those first years from from prenatal up to eight years old is such an important time for kids to develop communication skills to develop work ethics and why they need to have these things in order to persevere within the community so um, I want to say thank you guys uh, for the bottom of my heart doing what you guys do uh, to benefit parents and children alike um, I want to say thank you to our guests for tuning into the program thanks to the crew for shooting it um, again this event is the 19th annual Early Childhood Literacy Night set to happen March 29th, 2017, 5.30 p.m. and 6, uh, 7.30 p.m. Um, prenatal parents all the way up to eight years old, come on down, get some resources, learn a little bit more about what the Lynn Public Schools are doing for you and your, and your students. Um, guys, thanks for coming on to the program today. Thank you at home. That's it from the studio here at Lynn Community Television. I'm Sean Donahue wishing you all the best.